Hi, Dr. Kelsey here, the Wish Doctor from www.thewishdr.com. One video that I've never made, and I'm going to make it as I take this eight, nine hour drive today on this Saturday. How to use the Psionics helmet in conjunction with the wishing machine. And this works the same whether it be the basic wishing machine or the Trinity machine. So I thought I would go over that. And clearly I don't have anything with me uh, as far as being able to drive and do this. So you would this you can use the helmet separately and you can use the wishing machine separately if you want to the, the, the machines can enhance each other the helmet being attached to the wishing machine so let's step through using them in conjunction and how you put them together so that with the helmet came a cord and that cord does not have the alligator clips on it that the two cords came with the wishing machine so you would take that cord and you would start out by plugging it into the input side of your wishing machine. You would go through the regular process of setting the five knobs and setting your intention, uh, and set, setting up the wishing machine as you would without the helmet. And you do that while the helmet is connected to the input side of your machine. Once you get those five knobs set, then you would go ahead before you go to the next step and adjust the three knob for frequency on the helmet as you're starting out. So you're getting all eight, five on the machine, three on the helmet, all those set to the proper frequency. And it doesn't matter how you do that, whether you do it through the stick plate, whether you use a pendulum, or whether you use your intuition, as long as you get those set. So you would do all eight, the five on the machine and the three on the helmet, before you go to the next step. Once you get those set, then you're going to move, like your pitcher, over to the output side. And you're also going to take and unplug the jack from the input side of the helmet to the output side. So there's two things you can do, and you need to experiment with it because it works differently for some folks according to what your intention is, according to what your energy vibration, all a little bit different. So some people leave it on the input side, their sonic helmet, plug into the input side after they got all eight, tuned all eight knobs tuned to the right frequency and they will use the helmet in conjunction with the wishing machine and as you're there in that moment and the, and the sonics helmet is on that little switch that you'll see it illuminated inside and you can leave it plugged into the input side as you have your picture of what represents you or witness for you on the output plate of the, of the wishing machine and you can use it to you manifest in your head in conjunction with what you have on the input plate of the wishing machine. So you're, you're, you're throwing more energy, more power, if you will, into it personally, connected to the machine with Sonic's helmet on as you are giving deep thought as to what your intention is. In other words, my need my, what I'm manifesting. I need love in my life. So as I'm connected to the input side, I've got all eight knobs, five on the machine, five on the helmet. i got all the frequencies set. I've got <clears throat> on the wishing machine itself, I've got whatever represents love that I need in my life. And as I have the helmet on, as I'm connected to the input side of the wishing machine, I'm going to sit with that machine and I'm going to be in my mind deeply focused on the love that I have of my intention the love I desire and you can do that 30 minutes, an hour really whatever feels comfortable with you and 
then at some point after that, you take your silence helmet and you unplug it from the input side and you plug it to the output side. So you become a receptor of that intention. Now again, you experiment with this. It's just like getting the frequency set. I did this and Dr. Kelsey, three, four days, nothing's happening. I'm not feeling anything. It's not working well. Change what you're using to represent on the machine that intention. Maybe you'd put a heart there. Maybe you need to put something else to represent. Experiment with it. That's the point. Because it, 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 you're, you're trying to send this out into the universe and you're trying to manipulate the universe to get what you want. So yes, you may have to experiment to see what works best for you to get this done. So you may change the frequencies. It's like, let me go through and reset. This has been a week and I'm just not feeling it. I just don't see any evidence this is working. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna reset. Maybe the first time I set the frequencies on these knobs, maybe I use the stick plate. Maybe this time I'm gonna go with a pendulum. Maybe I'm just gonna use what feels right. I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna turn that knob, the first one over here to the left, it just feels right. Don't be afraid to reset the entire thing to change what the witness is for your attention, what you're manifesting, the representation of what you're manifesting. <coughs> Even changing your thought pattern as to the way you're visualizing this in your mind. Give each a chance. In other words, don't get impatient and expect something within two or three days. Give a week, two weeks, whatever. Sometimes the intention, sometimes it works out real quick. And other times it takes a while. But that's the basic way you start out using the Sinex helmet in conjunction with the wishing machine. You start out again with the Sinex helmet plugged into the input side. And once you get everything set and you've actually set with the machine and you're thinking along with the machine and whatever you're manifesting, you're applying your thought pattern to it. The Sonic Hammer is reading that and it's directing it directly into your wishing machine. You've done that for 30 minutes, an hour, whatever's comfortable with you. Don't allow you, you don't have to get out of your comfort zone with any of this. And then after that, then you switch and plug in the Sonic Hammer to the output side. So you become a direct receptor of that. And again, you don't have to use these in conjunction with each other, but that's the way you do use them in conjunction with each other. You can actually use the helmet alone, and you can use the wishing machine alone. But you, you want to use these together and get the best out of it. What I just told you is the basic process. And again, feel free to experiment with your equipment because according to what your intention is, according to what your vibration levels are, according to what frequencies you personally are set, and you don't, you probably don't know that, you probably, but you've got to get that feel, and you've got to become, and you'll know when you're connected to that machine, you'll know just like you get used to your new cell phone, and you got your apps on it, you, you know your cell phone, you're connected to that cell phone, so it's kind of similar with the Sonic helmet and, and this equipment. You're not going to do any damage by experimenting. If you do get in a situation that's like, yeah, I did that and it don't feel right, then just don't do that anymore. Go to another step. But don't ever fear experimenting with it. And of course, do everything in a positive way. Please don't do anything negative or nefarious or harmful to anybody with your machine that is going to affect everything about that machine and it's going to bleed off on you. So you don't want to do that at any level. So keep things positive in every way possible, whatever you're using for your attention, wherever you're directing the energy, all the above. I hope this helps and I hope and I, I wish you the best. Best wishes from Dr. Kelsey.